Alright you guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm back you guys. I'm sorry for the wait, but I be super busy with work like always. So I'm trying to crank them out more often guys. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. But today we're gonna be going a little bit healthier. We're gonna be making some black bean burgers. So to get started, I got a quarter of an onion that I sauteed in my frying pan with a little bit of olive oil and I put them inside this bowl here. And then I got a 15 ounce can of black beans, whole ones, and I drained it. So just gonna dump them in here. Whole can. We get it put in the trash. And we're gonna mash up most of the beans with a fork. Let's see what you guys can see. Just like that. I'm gonna keep going. It's gonna be a quick video, you guys. It's not gonna take long to make a burger. Especially not this guy. But how you guys been? I'm sorry I've been gone. Miss y'all. Tell me what's been up with you guys. Well, if you hear that in the background, that's my air fryer. Sorry, I got some um, tater tots in there. It's gonna go on the side of this. You all know how to make tater tots. You just throw them inside the oven or fry them up in the grease. To the golden brown, that's it. So I got mine in my air fryer. So that's gonna go with this. So I figured I didn't have to show you guys that. You know what tater tots look like. Uh, if you want something else, like french fries, you go with that. They are definitely brown, all right. And season them to your liking. Tater tots, that is. Got a burger too, actually. <laughs> okay, that's enough mashing. All right. Let's put it over here. That's how they look now. All mashed up. So now we're gonna add one egg. Kind of get a, a little break. Or you can whip it as a separate bowl, that's fine, but you know, why waste dishes? Okay. Now we're gonna season this. Let's add some pepper. At around like maybe quarter teaspoon. I have much you want. Paprika don't have a taste unless you get the smoked paprika, which has a taste. So as much as you like. I'm gonna add some garlic powder or fresh garlic if you got it. I'm just going with garlic powder and maybe around a half teaspoon of that. And then I'm gonna add a little cumin. I'm not gonna add a whole lot of that. About an eighth of a teaspoon. Came kind of strong to me. Ooh, damn. <laughs> Top of it right in there. Came kind of strong to me, so I don't usually add a whole lot. That's enough to get that fragrance. And I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes. Just a little. That's good right there. Just a quick little shake. And some Tony Sachet's Creole seasoning. Got a big one. Add around a, a quarter teaspoon to a half. All right, whatever you like. I just wanna make sure it's seasoned good. I did around a quarter teaspoon. And some breadcrumbs. I got a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. Just throw that in there. Panko is what I use. You can use any kind. Give it a mix. Breadcrumbs and the egg are going to help to bind this together so it won't go falling apart. I remember the first time I made black bean burgers, I didn't add any egg and they just was all goopy and falling apart. I don't like this. And if you want, after you form the patty, you can put them in the freezer 
so they can sit for around maybe an hour. Which, to be honest with you, I might do actually. And these actually holding together pretty good. I might not have to do that. This house looking. Okay, this all mixed up. Let's go ahead and form the patties. Okay, got my foil here that I spray with some olive oil. And I split my batter into threes. I make three normal sized burgers. Or you can split it in half and make two big burgers. So let's go ahead and patty that up as best as you can. Uh, make sure you spray your hands too. I got a little olive oil on my hands. Keep it from sticking to them. Look how pretty that is. Right closer to y'all. There we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and set these in the freezer to sit for a little bit. You can go ahead and throw them right in the frying pan. I want them to sit. Might be a little bit bigger than all of them. Yeah, it is. Got this one tiny as hell. Might probably adjust it. Yeah, come on, adjustment. And she got all this out the bowl. Three burgers here, you guys. Oh, and those are my toppings in the background. I got some onion, tomato, lettuce. I'm gonna cut them later. I'm gonna go ahead and put these bad boys in the freezer about 15 20 minutes till they get nice and set. And I'll see you guys at the frying pan. All right, you guys, I just pulled them out of the freezer and I threw them inside of my pan and I drizzled on some olive oil. Well, I drizzled the olive oil in the pan and then threw the burgers on. So we're gonna let these go. Maybe three, four minutes per side till we get a, a little sear on them. Remember, that's not beef, so you don't have to like cook them to like a certain temperature, done this, whatever. <laughs> but you get a nice sear and they warm through, you're good to go. So I'm gonna let these go for three, four minutes on each side. On a medium high heat. Got it on medium high. Okay? Okay. I flip them over, and that's how the side is looking. And what I'm gonna do now is throw a slice of cheese on each one. And this is Kraft Singles. If you wanna keep this completely vegan, get you some vegan cheese. But this is not vegan, this is going to be veg vegetarian instead. There we go. And I already had this side cooking for a couple minutes now, so once the cheese is melted, we'll be ready to assemble our burgers. And I already got the top of the slice over there, so I'm gonna see you guys over there at the table. <laughs> oh, yeah, the cheese already going. All right. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and assemble these burgers. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started. And I got my buns here that I toasted off camera. Nice brioche bun. Got kind of nice and toasty, that is. Beautiful. And add whatever toppings you like. Same stuff you'll put on a regular burger. I know me and my husband like mayo and ours. And a little stone ground mustard. Oh, let's go ahead and do that. Stone ground. It's my favorite mustard. We're gonna give it a little spready spread. And there's not enough, add more. This is enough for us to. We don't need a whole lot, but what we do need a lot of is the ketchup though. <laughs> that's like this part right there. Okay. And I got some spicy ketchup. That's what we like to use. I'm gonna put it over here with the mustard. That's the top. That's the top. Oh, I 
tell you what, let's go ahead and spread some of that ketchup love over there with the mayo. Let's go ahead and slide our burger on there, the bottom bun. Then, I like raw onion on my burger, so I'm gonna put some raw onion. Both of us do, me and my baby. So, put some raw onion. And he likes a lot of tomatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him two. And a piece of lettuce. I forget what kind of lettuce this is. I think it's bib lettuce if I'm not mistaken. I saw it at the store and I grabbed it because I thought it was cute. Let's fold this lettuce up so you can see the burger some more. Look at that, gorgeous. And let's get some taters. The tater tots. There we go, that looks better. <laughs> With our crispy seasoned, well seasoned tater tots. All right, you guys, that'll be it for this video. It was short and sweet and I hope you liked it. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and continue to watch my videos. Love you guys for that. Appreciate all the support you give me and continue to support me and look out for me. I'm, I'm coming with the videos, you guys. I'm sorry, I just be working so much, I be tired. I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> Plus, I got bills and stuff. And they even got me a little god grandbaby now. <laughs> Which I need to go see soon, actually. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.